Okay, so been out shooting today. People have been asking me for well over a year to review this lens. I just have used it two or three times in the past. Nice, insanely expensive lens. Insanely heavy also, over two pounds. Japanese Carl Zeiss Perfection. By the way, the secret to a Zeiss glass is lead. You know, lead crystal? You usually see it in grandma's cabinet, the, the glass or the glassware. Remember the little glass figurines of unicorns? And it's like, wow, that glass looks a little different. It kind of sparkles. That's the additive that uh, glass is doped with is lead. Um, Swarovski crystal. Um, the reason it's doped that way, it actually changes the dielectric permittivity of the, uh, of, uh, the uh, glass as the light passes through it. Not that you really care about that. Um, this is a manual focus lens. It is CPU chipped. This is a Nikon mount. So you can use it in shutter priority, aperture priority. Not just uh, manual. Of course, it's a manual focus lens. This lens is the sharpest 135mm f2 lens out there. Um, it is silk sex and sugar. It is perfection. You would think at 11 elements it wouldn't have really good use as a black and white lens for micro contrast where inner and tonal values are incredibly important. However, because it is leaded glass, it does. Um, everything in Europe is basically banned. Europeans are obnoxiously acute to anything that might be slightly toxic. Of course, life is toxic. I mean, uh, they're a little bit overboard, but there is an exception for the use of lead in the construction of modern products in Europe. Of course, this is made in Japan. Some uh, Zeiss lenses, especially the really expensive ones like the 15 millimeter, are still made in Germany, but there is an exception for the use of lead in uh, optical equipment like this by the Europeans because it is necessary. Nikon uses lanthanum dioxide or niobium dioxide. The secret recipe of glass is kept secret by all the companies, but there is no secret about Zeiss glass. The reason it's so damn heavy, and you can actually tell if you pick up a piece of regular glass as opposed to glass crystal. It's usually called, sometimes they call it leaded glass or uh, crystal glass, same stuff. The reason it's so damn heavy is because it's full of lead. <laughs> um, $1,500 is a new price on this lens comes with a really pristine two-piece. The two-piece ones are best. It means there's actually an insert in here that's screwed in. Two-piece all-metal lens hood with a uh, a velvet interior to uh, cut down on uh, flare and reflection. This lens is perfection. It's insanely sharp on a scale of one to ten. It gets a ten. Um, the bouquet on it is very creamy, dreamy. It's not my favorite bouquet in the world, but it's so perfectly fine. Actually, it's more than perfectly fine. It's actually exquisite. Um, the uh, It certainly beats the hell out of the Nikkor 135mm F2. However, that has defocus control and it also has autofocus. And it's also more lightweight and uh, used. It averages about 700, 750 bucks. This lens used is a lens you really never see used once in a real while. But uh, it'll spank most people. Um, by the way, this lens is a lot more easy to use with focus peaking on a Fuji, where in which it becomes a cropped image. Of course, lens compression doesn't change, 135 mm 135 mm but uh, it becomes a cropped 200 mm equivalent field of view at f2, obviously so. Every lens drops the same light. A crop is a crop is a crop. And only a crop. On a scale of 1 to 10, as far as the value of this lens, I mean, it's right up there at 8.5 or a 9. It is, like I said, is insanely expensive. It's even more insanely heavy. But it is absolute pinnacle of a Japanese Zeiss, which is made in the Casino factory in Japan. Hey! Japanese perfection. Zeiss Japanese perfection. Um, I don't know what it is to say. You can go to the Flickr page of the 135mm. This is the APO Sonar F2. Like I said, it's a chipped lens since it is a ZF2. Second version is chipped, which this obviously is. Um, it is near perfection. If you have a, an issue with manual focus lenses, you're obviously going to have an issue with this. It does have considerable throw. You see how far the lens is extending out. So from nearest to infinity, this is the throw of the lens. Nearest to far, this is called lens throw. 
Um, so that's it. Made in Japan. And uh, it's a perfection. Um, not cheap, and if you're not good at manual focus, it will frustrate you. Thankfully, however, I am extremely good. Better than most people at manual focus lenses. I grew up with manual focus lenses. I'm really good at manual focus lenses. I should do like a, a half day workshop on how to use manual focus lenses correctly. I could really teach a lot of people how to be very fast with manual focus. There are some tips and tricks. I made some videos on them. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, you could make a small donation. You tell me to um, go play amongst uh, the, uh, the uh, traffic lights out in the middle of the street. Whatever makes you happy. That is it. That's the 135mm F2 APO Sonar Zeiss. The leaded glass, manual focus, insanely expensive, incredibly heavy lens that is worth every penny of what it costs. Bye. Bum, bum, bum.